Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to configure a control M job to execute on the first, last, or specific work day of a, a specific calendar. The first step is to create a calendar that will serve as the base for the job definition. In the planning domain, select the Tools tab and click Calendars. Click on New and then on the regular button. Define the name of the calendar. Click the Recurrence button. Select the days from Monday to Friday. Set a description for a calendar and click OK. Make sure the days from Monday to Friday are marked in orange. The next step is to check in the calendar to synchronize the EM with the server. The synchronize status indicates that the process has completed successfully. This completes the preparation of the calendar that will serve as the base for the job. Let's go back to the planning domain, select a blank workspace, and drag and drop a new OS job. To start editing, double click the job. The job is set by default to run every day. When you open the schedule field list, you will be presented with several options to configure the schedule of this job. To configure the first and last working day, we will select the third option, relative calendar days from start, end of month period. Then, select the calendar that we created at the beginning of the video. By checking day one, we can already verify through the schedule button that the job will be loaded only on the first working day of the month. This window confirms the validation of the days on which the job will be loaded. Selecting also the day minus one, we can confirm that the job will be executed according to our objective. If it was necessary to change the job to run from the first to the third day of the month, you will need to select the days from one to three and uncheck the minus one. Note that in the month of September, the job will run on the days 1st, 2nd, and 5th, according to the schedule on the calendar. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our Knowledge Base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.